Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to be making a delicious boiler of carrot soup. Of course for me and Raymond, soups are good any time of the year and we love all types of them. This soup today we had a little while back and we both loved it. So what we want to do is share it with you today so you know how to make it. So let's get started. we're going to be using here today is six cups of chicken broth you could use vegetable we're going to be using a medium or a large onion I got a diced up but I got one little piece left out because I want to put it in with my vegetables while it's boiling I got a little couple of pieces of ginger some cream turmeric salt pepper croutons butter and of course carrot potato and celery what I like to do in advance with uh, any time that I'm peeling vegetables is soak it for an hour or so in, in some cold water. I'm going to drain this off now and put it into my large saucepan. I'm going to be sharing the recipe for this carrot soup with you today and that way you could judge what you need in vegetables. So just toss that into the saucepan. So we're just going to pour in all of our chicken broth and again you could use uh, vegetable broth okay so just toss that on in there also i'm going to be putting in a chunk i got two chunks here but it's just about the size of a quarter or a, a loony here in, in newfoundland labrador or toony um and just roughly peel it you don't need to take all the peel off toss that on into the boiler um, and as well the wedge of onion, toss that in there. So that's pretty much all you need to do there after you've got your vegetables and your chicken broth stock as well as called into your bowl or saucepan. You can put the lid on and again in there is potato, carrot, celery, we got some ginger, we got a piece of onion and of course the broth. So I'm going to put it on. Oh well, before I do that, half a teaspoonful of sea salt. Just pop it in there and then put it on your stovetop. I'm going to be putting in about two tablespoonfuls of butter or margarine into our pan and the rest of the onion chopped off is a medium or a large onion. I'm also going to be adding in here half a teaspoonful of white pepper and we're just going to let this start to cook until our onions gets a little soft. So pretty much that's all you need to do there for the starting of making your delicious carrot soup. Um, the vegetables are on my back burner and I'm going to let those cook until they're fork tender. This soup is absolutely delicious but it's also a creamy soup. So we're going to be using our NL blender, the, the tall one, for mixing it all together when it starts to cook and it's all done, ready to go, and I'll show you that as we go. And after, when the onions get a little soft, a little clear, I'm going to be putting in there one cube of garlic and I'm going to press it in with my press. I'm also going to be adding in here half a teaspoonful of thyme. I did mention that at first. And you could use dry or fresh. I'm going to put it in during this to make it nice and, and infuse them flavors. So now I'm going to press in the one piece of garlic into our partly cooked onions. I'll let that just cook for a second. So after you've done that, turn off the pot or take the saucepan off the pot. Now our vegetables are cooked and what we need to do here now is just take out the ginger because we don't need to blend that up. So those two pieces of ginger I put in there, which one chunk really, um, put into a little container and now I'm going to show you what's next. Now we're going to put the turmeric in with the broth and the cooked vegetables. You don't need to take anything else out there now. You'll leave everything there and then add in your cooked onions and garlic 
into the same pot like this. So what I'm going to be using my NL blender, but you can use your food processor or your stand up blender. So we'll just start it on a low and I'll get mixing this. All right, so that's all you need to do there. You just need to mix it until it's all nice and fine, creamy like this. So this is what it's going to look like. Isn't that absolutely delicious? I'm gonna pour some into my bowl. Now I always say we get lots of people say, can I bottle my leftover soup? Now this is what I would do. I would gauge how much I think that I'm going to use for a meal. And what I got left over, I would put into a mason jar, but I'll do it while it's hot. So pretty much here today, it's just me and Raymond. So I know that we're gonna have a bowl, maybe a bowl and a half each. So what I will do before we even start eating, I will take off maybe one bottle, maybe two. This makes eight cups of a soup. So that varies to be about four servings. And that's all you need to do there. So that's what I'll do there, is just pretty much put that in. And then my lid is clean because I just scooped it in with my prep and my scooping thing. And then I put my lid on. And that's my soup bottled for the next time. Now let's get back to a bowl of soup. Now this carrot soup is so rich and tasty. This is our comfort food. I got about a teaspoon full of cream. I'm just gonna pour around air on the side. And what I'm going to do with that is just kind of make a little design here on the top. Just to fancy it up a little bit, I want to put a little piece of the cell relief and a couple of croutons. With a couple of sandwiches, how good is that? Delicious. I hope you enjoyed this episode today for carrot soup. Now, who would think that a carrot would make such an elegant meal for an appetizer or for a main course. It doesn't matter. It's comfort food for us and that's the way we enjoy it. I'm gonna have a little taste here now. Oh my goodness. The taste of those carrots come out really strong, but you can taste a little hint of the ginger and the garlic. All of it together is absolutely delicious. I can't wait to finish this. And of course, served with a couple of little delicate sandwiches. So if you enjoyed this recipe today, I'm going to post the written version of it in under this video. And as well, the subscribe button is there if you haven't already done so. Just hit the subscribe button and the bell and we thank you in advance. And I'm also going to share this recipe with you today on our website www.bonitaskitchen.com as well you can send us a message on our email at bonnetakitchen at gmail.com if you have questions about this recipe or any other of our recipes that we have posted to date. You can also visit us on our Facebook page. We post up and coming uh, recipes. We post old recipes that we haven't shown in a while and our viewers request photos and pictures of their recipes they've made over the last little while. So if that interests you, don't forget to go there. And as well, your time is precious. We so thank you for being here with us today. From our kitchen to yours. Thank you for joining us, and you have a wonderful day. Join us by the sea, a journey in culinary, always an open door, the neatest kitchen to yours. It's kitchen, it's kitchen, it's kitchen. It's yours. Yeah. And don't forget to join us again on Bonita's Kitchen.